second date update. David wants to know why, you know, they met on Instagram and they went out and he thinks everything went well and now she will not commit to a second date. David, good morning in Arcadia. How are you? Good morning. How's it going? It's going well. What I loved about your email is you said it was undeniably a great date. Oh, a hundred percent. It was, it was, it was a good date. You were on your game. Oh, a hundred percent. All right. Well, give us some details. Well, I, you know, I, I don't want to say too much, but I mean, it was, it was, it was a good time. It was, it was a good time. We went out, you know, and had a couple of drinks and, uh, like just, Solid chemistry, you know, like just undeniable, undeniable chemistry. It was, it was good. How did the evening end? Uh, it, it, you know, I took her back to her place and gave her a kiss good night and, and went on my way. Okay, so if, if, I mean, I'm puzzled because if if you are, you're saying undeniably it was a great day, mm-hmm. what could have gone wrong between when you left her and now she will not commit to going out again? You've tried to ask her out. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've asked her a couple of times, and every, you know, it's like every time I talk to her, I get this, all oh, this week is crazy, you know, I got all kinds of stuff going on, uh, maybe next week, so, you know, I'll reach out the next week, and it's, it's the same stuff, it just okay. happens again, you know, right. I'm, oh, this bad week. Hmm. I don't, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, it know. could be a coincidence, it could be bad weeks. It could be, or it, she could have a boyfriend. Yeah. Or she that, doesn't think it went I'm undeniably good. well. Yeah. There um, But you sound confident. So let's. What we're going to do is we're going to come back and we will. We'll just call her and we'll keep you on the phone. Be very quiet and we'll ask her. Okay. You got it. Okay. Hang tight one second. All right. Well, he's certainly not lacking confidence, <laughs> right? I mean, he, he, in the email, undeniably, and then he puts "great" in caps. Yeah, I know. So I feel like we're going to have two different stories here. I think so. I think this is why dating sucks. I know. It's just, I mean, if you want to roll your eyes, roll them now. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be right back. All right. If you've been following us, we are on a mission to try and get Gracie on the line. David from Arcadia is on hold. It is the second date update that will never end. I'm going to try one more time on this. We actually think, Patty, she got her and then hung up. So she did just answer a second ago. So hopefully with this call, we'll stay on the line. Um, but we know that David has told us in his email, it was an undeniably great date. So we're trying to get her right now, David. Perfect, thanks. All right, here we go. Hello. Hi, is Gracie there? This is. Hi, Gracie. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. It's Ryan Seacrest and Sissini calling on 102.7 KISS FM. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. We uh, we were calling about David, who we were told you recently went on a date with? Yeah. Yeah, he's a friend of mine. He's like a buddy? Um. Yeah, like, yeah, he's a friend. Got it. So, uh-huh. well, it, you did not go on a date? No, no, no. We went on a date. Yeah. You did. On a date. So, so, is it platonic or not platonic? Um, no. Well, the date wasn't platonic. No, he's, he's hot as like, it definitely oh. wasn't oh, platonic on my end. Is, is okay. he undeniably great? Yeah, no, he's a great guy. Yeah, okay. he's hot. <laughs> Okay, well, what, what's he look like? Yeah, now I'm curious. Um, I, I mean, he's like your traditional tall, dark, handsome dude. Like, he, movie star, like, good looks. Wow. Yeah, okay. he's really so, good looking. Um, are you going to go out with him again? Um, probably not. All right, so now I'm confused. It, it's like the dots aren't connecting. Why would you not want to go out with the tall, dark, and handsome movie star guy again? Um... Because, I don't know, because he's, uh, I, I, he's too hot, I guess. I'm not, I, yeah. The one date was good. That was all I needed. Like, that, that was enough. So, you, you're not going to go out then because he's too good looking? Yeah. 
Really? I mean, I would hang out with him as a friend, totally. He's, oh, he's awesome, God. but that like, there's not a future there at all. Okay, well, the reason we're calling is David has asked us to call you. He's on the phone right now. Uh, uh, David, so I guess you are undeniably great, but you're not going to go out with Gracie, it sounds like, again. What is the, what is too hot? Well, oh, David, I mean, it means you're good looking. <laughs> what? Yeah, but I'm confused, yeah, that's too. A, that's totally a compliment. Like, obviously, you walk into a bar and every single woman and a bunch of men turn around and, and look at you like you're, you're incredibly good looking. So is it jealousy? Um... No, no, no. Like I'm and, a pretty confident girl. It's not. It's not jealousy. I just I know that type of guy. I but, I know what they're like. Oh, you're stereotyping I him. see. You think he's a player? Uh, I mean, when you're that good looking, like it's just. I'm kind tired of, of how good of... looking we are. Saying <laughs> he is. <laughs> Send me a picture. I, I want to see. I, we need to post a picture. So, uh, David, Gracie's basically saying you got it all, but she thinks that you would would mess around, and she's not re- ready to play that game. Is yeah, that- well, that's the thing. I'm not going to play any kind of game. Like, I'm I'm into Gracie. Gracie, I'm into you. Like, I want to explore the possibility of, like, a real relationship with you. Um, okay. But if that was true, then, like, you, you wouldn't have had sex with me on the first date. That's- well, hold, 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 hold on. A, David, you told us you just kissed her and, and went home. And B, <laughs> Gracie, why did you do that on a first date if, I mean... Because he's incredibly hot. I mean, I guess I thought there was that we kind of knew what was happening. We like, we had in the bathroom, David. What? I mean, we didn't even we didn't even go to someone else's apartment. Like we did it right then and there in the bathroom. That's not of the like, that's restaurant not material. Yeah. I mean, well, could you? Well, it's kind of hot. Which, well, it was oh, totally hot. <laughs> Is it? But that's not like I've never done that before. Because it's the bathroom. (laughs) But Gracie, like it takes two for that to happen. You know, like you you were there too. Absolutely, I had a great time. It was amazing. But you don't you don't marry that guy, David. I Uh. I need to meet you. We Uh. what is David? Is that true? Did you do the in the (laughs) restaurant bathroom? Yeah, and, and you would ask, like, what happened at the end of the date? And the end of the date, I just kissed Oh, her. sorry, I didn't realize uh, I needed to ask, at what point did you have yeah, yeah at dinner? Yes. Well, uh, you know, a gentleman doesn't want to totally kiss A gentleman all, doesn't guess. take a woman to the unisex bathroom and make love, or whatever you did. Oh, make love. Oh, Tanya, yeah, it wasn't even making it's, love. I'm well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, bef- it's before some of the bells at school, so yeah. I'm trying. Uh, all right, well, David, it sounds like... I think maybe there's a shot for you guys to hang out at some point, but uh, I think now we know all we need to know. Gracie, David, best of luck. I mean, friends with benefits. Why not? I mean, how, how... Yeah, I don't know. It was, I, like, I, let's just chalk that up as to a really good time, and we can be friends and hang, but that's it. That, that was good. Thank I doubt you. you guys can just be friends and hang. Not after that story. Yeah, not after that story. <sighs> Yeah, that's unfortunate, Gracie. Oh, he's like oh, genuinely I, bummed. Jeez, what a curse to be so good looking. <laughs> All right, well, David, thank you for writing to us. Good luck finding the person that's right for you. And Gracie, thanks for your candor. Thanks. All right, thanks for your help, guys. Yeah, sure. Okay, bye. What? <laughs> I don't even know where to stand on this one. I see both sides. I see how she doesn't want to date him because in her brain, she's probably a little embarrassed and ashamed that she took it that far. Well, she didn't sound that embarrassed. And by the way, what is there such a thing as, oh, you like me and you're too good looking? Yeah. Like that doesn't. And, you know, and going all the way at the restaurant in the bathroom. I'd like to talk to people who have done that because I don't really and, no. and have your has your relationship progressed from there, or was it just a one time thing? Also, aren't people waiting in line outside? I know, no, like, right? generally in stalls. You can't do it in a stall. How dirty is that? Pri- at least have it be a private. There has bathroom. to be a hamper or something in there for the towels. <laughs> towels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you what need bathrooms are you in? Well, nice the ones. ones that you need to. <laughs> if you do that, you need a towel. Okay. I'm very confused. I'm very, very confused. We take a break.
Well, we just told all the guests we booked for this hour to turn around and go back home. <laughs> uh, we're not having any company during this conversation. So if you were booked on the show, thank you. Mm-hmm. Turn around, go back home, charge it to kiss. <laughs> because of what has just happened. And I'm on my feet. I know you are. I'm standing. Because we've just done a second date update which I'm still on the fence about. But anyway, we got to Gracie, who went out with David in Arcadia. David said it was an undeniably great date. A little, little confident of him, full of himself. Yeah. We, get him on the, we get him on the phone with her. Turns out she says he w- was so good looking. He's so attractive. Mm-hmm. He's so undeniably good that she couldn't go out with him again. Now, do the science on that. So that has happened. Then we find out that during the date at the restaurant, first date, they did it in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And apparently a lot of people have done it in the bathroom. Who knew? We're even getting recommendations of which bathrooms have Ottomans in Southern California. (laughs) And that maybe that's for people who aren't as tall. Thank you. 800-520-1027 at Kiss FM. I don't even know where to start. There's such a a goldmine of things here. I know. Uh, All right. Let me start with... Nicole in Cerritos. So, Nicole, you and your husband did it on your first date? We did. And were you in a restaurant? Um, no, we weren't, actually. Our first date was at a library. We were study partners in college. You were oh, in a library? Sexy. How is that sexy? I think that's so sexy. They were studying for college. The and then Dewey Decimal that. System doesn't turn me on. <laughs> yeah, but it's so quiet. You have to be so quiet. Did you, did you have to be so quiet? <laughs> We did. We had to be very, very quiet. We didn't get caught. And 12 years later, we're together, married 10 years. We've got three kids. It's awesome. And do you go back just for fun to check out books? (laughs) Not to that library, no. But we put a couple other locations on our list. (laughs) The library tour. (laughs) The public library tour. (laughs) <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Nicole, from Cerritos. Those of you who Thanks, are, are near the Cerritos libraries, beware. Yeah. So cool. All right. Goodbye. So Patty was saying, interestingly, and I think I get this, sometimes a guy is so attractive and knows it that he becomes unattractive, right? Yeah. Like, you know, like there's like and one of the Ryans, one of the famous Ryans, not you. Ryan Reynolds, Gosling. Yes. Re- Re- Reynolds. I think Reynolds? he's just too perfect. Oh, yeah, he's that really hot. I cannot find him attractive. Well, no I disagree with yeah, Ryan cause, Reynolds. Because he's hilarious. I yeah. would take him in a heartbeat. I, I am not even that way, and I would. <laughs> I, like, you know what I, I mean? like a little scar, maybe, you know, somewhere. I have a scar on my brow. See? <laughs> well, cool. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes you less hot. Yeah, I'm really struggling yeah, in that yeah, department. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking for things that make me less hotter, hot. I think your scar makes you hotter, actually. No, Tiny's being sarcastic. Like, I'm not really in the league of playing, like, oh, what can I find him? Well, I'm, <laughs> but see, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Quick. Yeah, I do, but I, not Ryan Reynolds. I have an attraction to Ryan Reynolds. And I, okay, well, who else? He can do no wrong. Who else oh, is who all else the, is so all the hot? Bachelors. Oh, like Dwayne Dwayne the Rock Johnson? No, no, I, no, no. He's, 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 he's hot. Perfect. He's, he's perfect. Okay. Yeah. I think like the Bachelors. Yeah, the Bachelors actually do that. Nick Vile, no. yeah, he's on high. Yeah, like Ben Ben, ben Higgins. Oh, ben, ben Higgins. Oh, he's just perfect. So that you see them and they're attractive and then you watch them work and they become unattractive. You know the rules. Anytime we see an anonymous call, we must take it. Absolutely. And I just got one. Hello, anonymous caller. Yes. Okay. Hi. Hi. For the purpose of privacy... Let's both be anonymous for this call, okay? Perfect. So, hi, go ahead. Don't know who you are. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. So, okay. I invited this guy I met to my sister's brother-in-law's uh, 30th birthday party. Okay. And he was one of those that was too good looking. Um, and But I went ahead and invited him anyway. But I learned that he was so sweet. So after just a couple of hours of getting to know him at this party, we went into the bathroom, and you can just use your imagination from there. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. You went into the bathroom. Uh, was it a public place or a home? It was a home. My sister's home. Oh. It was your sister's home. And no. <laughs> She's ashamed. <laughs> and that was... I know. 
That was fun. <laughs> it was really fun, and it's and, still fun. Oh, it's and, still fun. Yeah, so since then, it's, it's been some years now. We've moved in together. We've adopted a dog. He took me ring shopping just a few months ago. Oh, my God. Do you use the bedroom now or just the bathroom? (laughs) Anywhere. No, I'm kidding. The bedroom. (laughs) Okay. All right. Well, listen, I'm glad no one will recognize us from this conversation. Mm -hmm. So we'll go about our lives anonymous. Thank you for calling. Thank you, Ryan. I'm going to change my voice back to my regular voice now. Wait, real quick. Anonymous, (laughs) does your sister know? I think so. Okay. I think so. Everyone's okay with it. They love him. All right. Well, it sounds, Amazing. It sounds like he is. Okay. Take care. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. All right. Bye. Michelle, just curious, Long Beach. What is Long yeah. Beach's point of view on this one? Michelle will speak for all of Long Beach. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I am super annoyed that she's saying that she's too hot. Like, yeah. isn't, that a, isn't that a good thing? Like, yeah. you just have amazing sex with a hot guy, and now you're like, no, I'm not into it. Yeah, what is I'm... with her? <laughs> I mean, like, sorry. Is... Oh, sorry. Is... So sorry that the world has granted you with an unbelievable guy who actually likes you, yeah. who's so yeah. hot that between a Caesar salad and a chicken breast, <laughs> you go into a bathroom and do it. Oh, lo siento. I mean, isn't that the <laughs> goal? Is to find a hot exactly. person? I don't even care if they're hot. It's just somebody that you connect with. Yeah. Clearly, they connected. And now, now, I'm tired of it. If any guest yeah. is on their way, turn around. Because we're, we're, yeah. we're, we're changing the whole program this hour. Now, 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 we've, how many years we've been doing this show for 15 freaking years? Yeah. And we've heard from people who can't find the good person and can't find the, yeah. now Gracie has found God's gift to the planet. And she <laughs> says, no, sir. I don't want that. He's too good looking and he's too into me. Yeah. You guys. Yeah, but, yeah, it's super annoying, and I have Disgusting. kind of a similar, similar story to, you know, previous callers, but I went to a mutual friend party and met a guy there, and he was so hot, super sexy, like, totally had an instant connection. We weren't even on a date, and we snuck off, did, you know, did the thing, and we... Uh-huh. Okay, so then we started dating, and we're together for five years, got married, and now we've been together for four years. So there's totally, you know, and honestly, I was like, oh, my God, I called my mom, and I was like, this guy is so hot. And my mom knew, like, okay, you're not calling him a douchebag, then, yeah, no, I just felt like, okay, he's hot, I'm hot, let's be, like, hot together and have hot I'm over hot people. I'm just (laughs) tired of them. Uh, I'm over it. I'm over, I'm over the word. I didn't want to use the word. It's it's spring and it's not hot. Oh, right. uh, okay. Thank, thank you, Michelle, for speaking for Long Beach. You're welcome. All right. Love you. Goodbye. Bye. Tired of it. Don't need it. It's too good looking. Mm-hmm. Couldn't resist. Had to get up and go. And do we know, was it was it a unisex? Was it a men's room or a, a woman? I'd rather be in the women's room, yeah, right? It smells better. Women's bathrooms do smell better. Yeah. It's prettiness, right? Isn't it prettier? They're always pretty. Yes. Yes, Patty? Nobody wants to date a Ken doll. Well, maybe she's trying to save her heart. Maybe she thinks he's just going to break her heart. So she's just trying to protect herself. No. Maybe she's a little picky. <laughs> I think she just regrets doing it on the first date. And, and why, don't, why don't people want to date a Ken doll? Yeah, because they're too perfect. Yeah. Also, I've seen those Ken dolls, okay? (laughs) Nothing going on. We'll be right back. (laughs) We got a lot of guests booked this hour, but we told them to Mm -hmm. go turn around because of what we stumbled into. I mean, who was on that list that was coming in this morning? Well, it was Oprah. She was on the way. We had to turn her back. Couldn't do it. Head over the canyon. Mm -hmm. Ellen DeGeneres on her way over, back over. I heard Ryan Reynolds wanted to call in after. Well, he he yeah. desperate. He wanted to come by and just say hello. Yeah. Yep. Had to say R squared. Mm-hmm. Head Not back. Not happening. No, can't today. Mm-mm. It, 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 Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey. Yeah. He was. Oh. He, he just got to LAX. Was can't do it. Uh huh. 
Because of this curveball. Brad Pitt was going to come in, too. Well, that wasn't. That was never happened. We were just telling you that. Yes, Patty? What? Mark Zuckerberg just called the hotline. I, I told him that we couldn't take his call. Yeah, he's not having a good day. I don't know <laughs> if you saw the news. He's not having a good week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, basically you didn't, not you didn't see the news. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was probably, yeah, still too soon. Um, <laughs> Harry and Meghan. I'm sure he's still fine. Harry and Meghan, though. I mean, think oh, about yeah, them. Oh, yeah, they were. Oh. They, British Airways the whole way over? What? To what? turn around. Just turn around. It's okay. Tomorrow. You turn. <laughs> so, anyway, the reason everybody had to go back to their amazing lives is because we got this second date update, and Gracie decided that she couldn't go out with David from Arcadia on a second date because he was too good. I mean... Not too good was, looking. Well, he was too good at everything, apparently. Yeah, he was, I guess. Too, he was too good looking... They they had sex in the bathroom on their first date during the meal, and she decided he's just too hot and too good looking, and she can't have it in her life. And he was like depressed that she didn't want to go out again. Mm-hmm. So it, he was he was everything, and she doesn't want all of that. It's just too much. We have so many great successful callers that have called in and said it turned out great for me. I married the guy, mm-hmm. but she's turning him down because he's just too good. What world are we living in? Yeah, that's not right. I'm going to get Victoria on the line. She's in San Bernardino. Now, Victoria, you say that she may have a conquest list? Yes, I do. I believe so. What is a conquest list? (laughs) It's like a bucket list. Like you Um, you have a bucket list for traveling. You said bucket list. Yeah. Bucket list for guys. A lot of men do it. And so I think it's just Gracie's turn. I think Gracie has one. And so what is on her bucket list? Huh. Doing it in the bathroom? You know, that hot guy on Instagram, you request to be your friend, and he accepts, <laughs> and then you start chit-chatting, and then you meet up, and bathroom, check it off. Do you have a conquest list? <laughs> I have one started. Yes, I do. What's on your <laughs> list? <laughs> well, just like the girl said in the background, right, when Gracie was talking, how hot it was. Just yeah. the whole, the unknown. Just the unknown of doing stuff. But, but, but specifically, where... what's on your conquest list? <laughs> I would say Gracie had a good one. The bathroom's a good one. But I would go with you, Ryan. I would do the female bathroom. They're way cleaner. Oh, great. Well, I will keep that in mind. Um, Got you know, it. I kind of had a list, I guess, in college. A conquest list? Not like a list that I wrote out or whatever, but I kind of just like had... <sighs> this is going to sound stupid. That you think about. Yeah, but like I knew that I wanted to hook up with like the president of this fraternity. It's like I made exactly. it my goal to like hook up with him one night eventually. Just cause? Just cause I wanted to. Yes. But, but did wanted... you like him? I did like him, but I knew that we were never going to be a relationship. But why? I don't know because I was different back then. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's she's grown up now. Yeah, and then I wanted to hook up with the captain of the paintball team, and that happened. Of all the teams, you picked yeah, the paintball team captain. They had their own house on the corner. It was like the coolest thing. So, did any of these guys mean anything to you? Yeah, they did for like those few weeks. Check oh. box. <laughs> Check box. All right, thanks for calling. Hey, I was living my best life in San Diego State. We are living your best life vicariously <laughs> right now with these stories. Would you ever create a conquest list, Tanya? Um. No, you know what's interesting is like I can name every guy that I've slept with and tell you like intimate what? details about. Them. Oh, that's beautiful. It, it's, the only thing I'm laughing about in, on the inside <laughs> is that you you've said that you say that all the time, but it used to be you used to use one hand and now you've got both <laughs> hands out. But it's still just two hands, baby. But you are using all fingers. No, that's not not accurate. How many fingers are you not using? One. <laughs> <laughs> Tubbs, she's got one finger left. But uh, I know a lot about all of those men. By the way, when we start working together, yeah. you use two fingers. That's all. And then you went to nine. That's not accurate. It was four when I met you. Okay, four, four. multiples of two. Now it's nine. <laughs> good morning. Hello, Kelly. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good morning, guys. Well, good morning. We had to turn the Pope around because yeah. of this conversation this hour. We didn't want I him to know, hear it. right? Yeah. This is, like, so newsworthy. So, well, all right. So, tell me, what's your view? Well, I was just getting a little upset because everyone's, you know, coming down on this girl and she's this great guy. How come nobody's brought up the fact that men have been doing this forever? Like, guys go out, have a one-night stand, and it's a hot chick. They hook up and move on to the next one. Like, why isn't it okay for girls to do that? I guess, Amen, sister. I guess it is, but I don't, I've not met a lot of guys that have done it in the bathroom during dinner. 
Well, yeah, that, yeah. I mean, I that mean, seemed pretty creative. But, you know, they had fun. They, in this day and age, with Tinder and, and all these, you know, yeah. all like, these right, platforms. hooked up, people are, you know, that's, that's what people do these days. And I don't think that, you know, as long as they're being safe and they're having fun, then who, who can... Yeah, no, you know, I, 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 I guess. I just, I, I felt like she found a good guy and now she doesn't want a good guy. I know, you know? it is really well, strange. maybe she doesn't want to be in a relationship and move Sounds towards like... marriage. Maybe she just wants to have a good time. Maybe it was well, her she's, conquest list. She's, she's certainly having a good time. All right, well, thanks for calling. We have an emergency on line eight. Okay, you go. Okay, I need to take oh. it. <laughs> it's an anonymous call. And if I see an anonymous call, we have to stop and take it. Mm-hmm. So let's get the anonymous caller. Hello, anonymous. Hi. W- oh, well, and a to- whisper disguising her voice. Yes, both of us are going to remain anonymous, please, for this call. So, <laughs> hello. Hello. What would you like to share with us, anonymous caller? Okay. Well, I agree with what she- I-, I understand what she's done because I've been in a similar situation. I'm calling anonymously because this has to do with a celebrity, and I feel like if someone tweeted at him or something, like, he would know it was me. So (laughs) we're going to stick to the anonymous. Um, He was perfect. He was beautiful, chiseled face, ripped, tall, dark, handsome, all of the things. What what, what ethnicity? Mm. Mm. If I, if I say it, it'll really narrow it down. Oh, <laughs> like, a lot. It'll really narrow it down. Just say it. He's from Luxembourg. <laughs> um, but I will say this. It's, it, it, as perfect as he was, it was almost like he was relying on that hotness, and he lacked in kind of everywhere else. Um, oh, he so lacked I, depth. I think that's what she. I think that's where she's coming from. Like he was, he's perfect. Like when you walk in, everyone, everyone's head turns towards him. But that, but that was it. So he was boring but perfect. Yes. And he is was this... good. He was a good. He was good to look at, and he was fun. Yeah. But there is nothing past that. And how did he do at the box office? Uh, he was actually from. He's more of a Netflix original series. Netflix original. Oh, start. Get online. Yeah. Netflix original Wait, series. That's so great. All right. Well, we're going to go through that list now. Hot original and lacking in depth. Okay. All right. Not like every actor. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm glad that we've remained anonymous for this call. So thank you very much. You're welcome. And but I, I just wanted to explain sort of like why I understand I, what, what she's going what, what what's happening there yeah. okay yeah got it well I hope you speak with full voice after we talk okay you too Ryan thank you okay you're the best wait don't let her go why don't let her go I want to know who it is okay hold she's on Tiny, tell us. Tiny, oh, oh she hung up on you oh. alright let's see the Netflix series <sighs> Stranger Things I can see that being an issue though when they're too ah. hot they're just hot oh, and dumb no no it can't be who? it can't be Fuller House Fuller House mm. well Stamos he's, but he's Stamos? got depth but he's hot. Oh, he's awesome. His personality is yeah, awesome. Yeah, he's got a good personality. Uh, well, how do I scroll? I can't. <laughs> how do I two scroll? fingers and I yeah, love but I don't Ryan see. Fee, you're not technology. It's I don't like see my favorite thing. <laughs> favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't see a lot of dudes on on the Netflix page. Uh, comedians and car- queer eye. It's because you watch shows like Fuller House, so like that's your history. Oh, is it? oh, this is my history only. Oh, I need someone's history that's not a teenage girl. What about John Hamm? Oh, John Hamm. The- no, but he's smart. Yeah, I don't feel like he would. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Patty. She said, if she tells us the ethnicity, we'll find out. We'll know. So it has so to be mean? a minority. Okay. It has well- to be like a Latino. <laughs> It just all of a sudden has to be yeah, Latino. Yeah, yeah. I mean, be Latino. Because like, good lover we don't has have Netflix Latino. shows. Well, when she said that, I thought it was Bruno Mars. Oh, really? But he's not a Netflix. I know. And then she threw me for loop. I thought it was like Aziz and Zari. <gasps> hmm. Oh, I'm still scrolling. And that's a good guess. What about Marlon Wayans? He's Maybe. on here. Maybe. I mean, I, we could do this all day. Yeah, I've had dreams about Aziz. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Jeez. 
Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Gabriel Iglesias, he's on here. Hmm. What about? <laughs> no. There's Master Day. of None. My, whose computer is this, by the way? <laughs> oh, this is this is not this is not mine. All right, well, I don't know who it is. We, Aziz is a good guess, maybe. Right. Well, uh, Pee Wee's Big Holidays on here. <laughs> oh, it could be Pee Wee. You never know. Listen, we had a lot of people booked over the last hour. We had to turn them all back because we got sidetracked on to this second date update. But we have to get to the bottom of that last call. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. I cannot do this show and just let that go. So we had an anonymous whisperer call and say that. That she uh, she went out with a guy who was tall, dark, and handsome from a Netflix original. Mm -hmm. And the reason why the second date update, Gracie, the reason why Gracie didn't want to go out with David again was because she thinks, well, he was, he was good looking and all that great stuff, but he didn't have depth. Mm -hmm. And that was her issue with this guy. She said he was the most amazing aesthetic thing that, that's ever been creative but was lacking some depth. Mm -hmm. And then she would not tell us who it is, but she did tell us that he's from a Netflix original yeah, series. she gave us little nuggets of info. So all of our Netflix original series pages are different based on what we like. <laughs> Mine is Fuller House and food shows. Yeah. And I can't, I don't see anybody there. Okay. But we have, uh, is it Jasher? Yeah, it's Josser. Josser. <laughs> I've him quite a few times. <laughs> oh, well, it's good to hear you. So Good to hear you as well. Do you have a guess? Well, okay, I just wanted, I guess you uh, picked it up uh, per se, because we have to get to the bottom of this anonymous caller. And um, the one thing that she, stre she didn't stress upon it too much, but we need to pick up on it, is she said tall, dark, and handsome. So I'm pretty sure she's probably referring to... Um, most likely an African American, some some uh, somebody on Netflix that is dark, and we're, we have to focus on that aspect. We do now. Do people sometimes just say tall, dark, and handsome when people are just tall and handsome? Yeah, I, I, oh, I, I feel well, like they usually it's, just say, right. They usually just say just tall and handsome. No, but, but maybe he has dark hair. Dark. But she said uh -huh. if if she she said if she gave the ethnicity, it would give it away. Mm -hmm. So, but someone said a reason. Sorry, and I mean. Look, I'm going to say it right now. Like, I'm Middle Eastern. I'm Pakistani. Um, I mean, I don't think Aziz Ansari is, like, the hottest guy out there. But at the same time... Some people do. Well, it sounds bad. But I'm just saying, uh, it's probably someone more aesthetically pleasing. Well, also, I think, yeah, I, I, she said lack of depth. Yeah. So we also need to pick up on that. Right. right. And he's funny, so... Thank, thank you for calling. Yeah, because he's not tall. Okay, well, easy on oh, right? oh, Easy, it's short. Are you kidding Always me? A pleasure. Tanya would go on a date with that guy in a heartbeat. Totally. Right, right. <laughs> and I don't know what, what, what short is to Tanya, but Tanya. <laughs> Let's go to Emily. Emily has a guest here. Emily, go ahead. You're on with us. Hello. Uh, good morning. How are you? Hi. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm talking to you guys. Well, um, I have a guest. Okay, go That's ahead. That's who I think it is. Um, so when she said ethnicity and Netflix, I thought my first thought was Ross Butler from 13 Reasons Why. Oh. Yeah, because he's tall. He does, He's not dark, but he has dark hair. Yes. And uh, he's pretty handsome. And did she say something like he had a nice body? Yes. yes. She said a perfect body, chiseled, yeah. ch chiseled chin. He does have chiseled a perfect face. body. You guys, it's him. It's him, yeah. It is? <laughs> Totally. Well, where where are these Asian pictures of him shortly? <laughs> well, he's got a lot of pictures without his shirt on. He's super tall. Just look at he's him. A, is he tall? Oh my gosh, I saw him in real life and I literally had to look up like this. Okay, but you're <laughs> five. Four. Oh, okay. I didn't know there were four others. Yeah. I thought it was just five. I'm five. <laughs> oh, okay. It's totally him. Interesting. All right, thanks yeah, for calling. Th so thanks for calling. I don't know someone else saying the same thing. Well, Allie. Wow. Allie is on to this. Boy, what a quiz show this is this morning. Allie, go ahead. You're on with us. Does anybody else not hear Allie? No, oh, she <laughs> dropped. Oh, she did? Yeah. She panicked. All right, so I guess we have to... She was saying the same thing. We have to... It's totally him, you guys. I'm freaking out. Well, why, why are you freaking so freaking out? Because he's so hot. He's on 13 Reasons Why. He's on Riverdale. Yeah, but so what? And our listener was like engaging... Yeah, but she said that she didn't date him because he was a dud. <laughs> so we don't know, by the way, for fact that it's him. But Tanya, in her fantasy world, has decided that, that that's who it is. Oh, 
my gosh. Uh, why is she like, this is taking you over know, her could, life? It could all be fake news, by the yeah. way. Yeah, by the way. <laughs> And this is going to, you obsess about this yeah. for a week. Totally. In my head, I have Ross with Anonymous, and they're like, wow. The Anonymous man. Whisperer. Yeah. Yeah. I will, right, well, for your narrative, you can keep that alive. <laughs> um, Bless you. There's just one more call before we get a break here and pay your bills. What a morning. I can't believe we had to cancel all of the guests that were coming in in the I last know. hour because we got so sidetracked with the second date update yeah. mystery. Sorry, Channing Tatum. I know, and I had to break it to him. Yeah, I had to break it. That to was him. an awkward phone call. That's right, and you know, and Matt Damon uh, again. He's already yeah, uh, he's, he, he gets, gets bumped all the time by Kimmel, uh-huh. and now us this morning, just rough. So, Chris, thank you for listening. Do you have a guess? Oh yeah. Okay, who is it, Chris? I think it's Luke Cage from the Netflix. Cage. Luke Cage. I don't know who that I need, is. I need to Google him. Yeah. <laughs> Luke Cage. Does anybody know who Luke Cage is? No, it's definitely not Luke Cage. Well, why are you so... I'm just so convinced that it's Ross Butler now. It could be Luke Cage. That's a good looking guy. He's ripped. What is he on? Uh, Uh, Like a Marvel The name of the show. Yeah, That's the name of the show. I don't know. That guy is tall, dark, and and studly. And cut. According to Easton, he's bulletproof. According to Easton? (laughs) That's his character? No, Easton or engineering. No, but bulletproof is his character? Like he's no, his, oh. his name's Luke Cage. He's bulletproof though. Oh, like well, he's would like someone explain to me what language we're talking. Bulletproof, <laughs> like you, nothing can get past him. Yeah, uh, like he's, he's so muscular that he's like the Rock or um, the okay. Hulk. All right, so he's okay. Not the character bulletproof. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, listen, Chris. Oh, he's th- literally bulletproof. Thank you for chiming in. Well, where's Easton when I need <laughs> he's him? Just I am. Well, thank you. All this stuff to me. All right.